share. Let's get at it one more time. All right, am I good? Am I good? Yes. Welcome back to ADB TV. I am, of course, ADB. Nice to meet y'all. And we are back at you again today with another reaction video. And uh, we're going to come at you today with some Nikki Glazer. Hmm. Now, this will be the first lady. So, yeah, we got a first lady right here on ADB TV, you know? First lady of stand up comedy, that is. But yeah, Nikki Glazer, I like her. She's hella funny to me. Um, not to sound the least bit misogynistic to some of the ladies, which I know you'll probably think it anyway, but I don't care. <laughs> I um I'm not I'm not uh, too into female stand-up comedy. It's just not my speed. It doesn't always connect, but I do have my favorites that do uh, connect with me, and they're very awesome. My favorite uh, female comedian of all time is Joan Rivers. You know what I mean? And I know that might be kind of impractical to some people. I mean, you know, they're all fantasy, she's old and they, yeah, I don't care. She's one of the greats and that's why she's one of my favorites because she's funny as hell. But yeah, like I said, we're gonna get into some Nikki Glazer today. And uh, this bit's gonna be called Saving Myself for Jesus. I've, uh, <laughs> I've seen uh, her do some roasts, you know what I mean? And I've uh, seen a show that she was on and stuff like that. I think it might've been her show, but yeah. If this is the title of it, I'm guessing she's gonna twist this and make it hella funny. But yeah, we'll find out. Well, like I said, yeah, Nikki Glazer one more time. And uh, if you like this reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe to your boy. Keep everything going. And yes, enough of the yakking and stuff. Uh, oh, and by the way, Nikki, if you're out there, if you ever see this, man, I know uh, Blake Griffin didn't want, you know, to give you no time, but I'm right here, man. You fine as hell to me, and I'll give you some time. Wait a minute. I don't look like Blake Griffin, so I guess I'm out. <laughs> All right, enough of me yakking, like I said. Nikki Glazer was saving myself for Jesus right here on ADB TV. Do you again. Slip it. Guys, you got to discipline me when I do that. <laughs> yeah. It is good to be here in Montreal. I was just in St. Louis uh, visiting my grandma. Whenever I go see her, she's always like, you know, come hungry, because she likes to see me thin. Uh, <laughs> that almost slipped me. <laughs> I don't even call, I don't call my grandma grandma. I call her Mimi, because when I was little, I couldn't pronounce old bitch. So that's what I came up with. And Damn. It's, um, it's a joke. She's so sweet. She wouldn't even hurt a fly, because flies don't understand verbal abuse. But. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> 28, which uh, I just found out is the age where, as a woman, your body starts to tell you to have a baby. It's uh, my hormones are like, have a baby. My bank account is like, don't you even fucking think about it. <laughs> don't you do it. I did have a pregnancy scare recently, oh. which, um, and I say scare because I was like, who's the dad? Uh, I was like, are we gonna have to bring Maury into this? Because <laughs> I fucked Maury Povich a couple months ago, but so God damn, bro. I have to call him up. I had a pregnancy scare. The first person I told was my mom, which I'll never do again because she got excited. Yeah, she's like, oh my God, I'm gonna be a grandmother. And I was like, yeah, until Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> damn. Soak it up. <laughs> so uh. I told the doctor too, so that was. Um, don't groan. I just got back yeah. from the Midwest where you can't talk about that stuff at all. And uh, I, they have anti-abortion billboards everywhere there. I was driving across Kansas. There was one that confused me. It, it was just a big one that said, thinking about abortion. I'm like, y yeah, I'm on a long road trip. <laughs> like, what else am I gonna do? Can't text uh, and drive anymore, of course, so. What the fuck is wrong? Thinking oh about abortion, but then God. three, like 300 yards later, it was like another one that said, uh, consider adoption. I'm like, well, why would I want some stranger's baby if I'm gonna get rid of my own? Like, I don't get that at all. <laughs> right? <It's> stupid, man. <laughs> oh. It's, <laughs> I'm in a long distance relationship right now, which means I'm single, so that's. Yeah, when yep. the cat's away, the mouse pretends her phone died. <laughs> Every night. 
I can't do long distance anymore because it's all you have. All you have is phone sex, and to be good at phone sex, you have to be good at, at regular sex. And I recently found out I'm not because uh, I'm on the phone. He's like, "Talk dirty," and I'm like, "I'm just laying here." <laughs> Later, and I hung up, and that's all I've got. That's all I know. That's all I've that's ever. That's all done. a lot of females got, unfortunately. And I love it. I just lay back and get it. It's pretty sweet. Some dudes Girls, too. Girls, do you know you yeah. can lay there? Guys will still fuck you. I've tried it out for us. <laughs> They're like happier there most of the time. It's awesome. Being on bottom is the tops. It's pretty sweet down there. That was a good Once one. in a while, they'll like straight up ask you to participate, and it's, <laughs> it's a bummer. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks. Damn. But like, he bought you dinner at Chili's. You owe him. Like, that's how I was raised. I don't know about you, but I felt obligated. What is wrong with this girl? It did happen to me recently. Um, this guy was giving me like a, like a really good rogering, and at some point in the middle of yeah, I like that phrasing, because girls can't be like I got fucked. Like we gotta say stuff like I got good rogering. <laughs> Sounds classy, doesn't it? Sounds like he courted me or like I knew his name or something. Like it sounds <laughs> fancy. I like it. What is wrong so he was getting, he was giving me a good raw drink, and <clears throat> I thought we were having fun. But at some point in the middle of it, I remember he was like, he was like, "Hey, will you get on top?" And and I was like, "What you say?" He woke me up. And I was like, "What's going on?" I like rolled over. I'm like, I don't want to go to school. Fuck you, Nikki. <laughs> But I did it, you know, I got up there, I took off my sleep mask and uh, wiped the drool off my face. I hope it was drool and um, God. I was really out of it. And, uh, Never quits. <laughs> I got up there and I gotta give it up to you guys for being up there most of the time. I had no idea how much cardio that was right out of the gate. I thought I was in shape, no. It was the worst spinning class of my entire life. <laughs> It was awful. I was wheezing right away. Just winded. I don't know if it was like the change in elevation or something. I was like, this is like fucking in Denver. It sucked. It's only four feet. Crazy. Yeah. I'm bad at sex. I think that's what I've concluded. It's fine. I'm okay with it because I got a late start. I'm learning. I didn't have sex till I was 21 because uh, I was saving myself for Jesus, which... I know, luckily that was my gardener's name, so that worked out, but uh, yeah, I found a loophole in my dad's rule. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, you're fucking stupid, man. I don't know why. I really just waited because I was scared, you know, and, uh, and I, I think I only did it ultimately for the first time because that guy was the first guy to have a really good argument for why we should, you know? And I remember, because I was like, I don't think I'm ready, and he was like, come on. That's yeah, it? that was it. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, so yeah, that logic. was it. Oh. I think he's a lawyer now. Thank you guys very much. I'm Nikki Glazer. Enjoy your <laughs> show. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, that is stupid fun. <laughs> oh, man. You know, so... Okay, I think that was actually perfect for my first female comedian, man. <laughs> it's like she just kept coming with the punchlines over and over, man. You know, it's just, uh, okay, let's get back into reality here. That was Nikki Glazer on Saving Myself for Jesus. You know, I, I liked, I, I loved her comedy on the roast because it's just like, you know, on a roast, the punchlines have to keep covered, you know what I mean? Like on, in standup, I think sometimes you have more pause moments to like really engage with the crowd and all that. But yeah, man, that was, um, <laughs> that was funny. You know, what I like a lot about female comedians is this, they give men, and I'm being dead serious about this, like even though it's just jokes, I know, but they give men a lot of insight as to how much they really don't give a fuck about sex as much as men do. And, and also they give us more insight as to how much more we're into it than them, which is kind of like, it gets a little creepy after a while. You know, if you're a guy who has a heart and a brain at the same time functioning together. But, <laughs> but yeah, man, that was Nikki Glaser with Saving Myself with Jesus. You know, and I, 
I think it on one side, it's very uncomfortable to have females that say certain things like this, you know, like she says and all that. But on the more dominant side that I have, at least, it's very refreshing, you know, because it, as a dude, man, it helps you not take certain things about, you know, hooking up with certain females or just trying to meet them out in public or bars, clubs or whatever. It just like, it just takes a lot of that pressure to give a fuck about investing so much of your energy into being phony, you know? Because I think that's what a lot of relationships are. A whole lot of phoniness from men and women as well. Can't leave women out of the bullshit because you guys are a part of it. <laughs> and it's just, you know, just to listen to, you know, certain bits like this, you know what I mean? Just like I said, I was a fan of Joan Rivers. Everything she said just always just made me feel like, breathe, breathe, don't take this so seriously. So... Yeah, man, it's, just, it's it's very much refreshing to hear stuff like this. And I love Nikki Glazer, and uh, she always has me laughing no matter what I see her in. And, you know, I'll get into some more because I definitely got some more favorites of uh, the female comedy variety. So, yeah. All right, I'm doing too much talking, man. But, yeah, uh, that was Nikki Glazer. One more time with Saving Myself and Jesus. And if you like that reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe, D-Boy. Keep everything going, like I said. And, uh, yeah. That's going to be all for this one today, man. First lady that Eddie B TV has reacted to, and I think it went pretty well. Nikki, you're funny as hell, and I do think you're sexy as hell, too. Please hit me up, man. man we need to link up, but you won't. But <laughs> so, yeah, man, it's going to be Eddie B TV signing off one more again, and uh, love and appreciate y'all. Peace.